Hey and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create this list and grid with the help of Jet Engine plugin. I have already pre-designed this list and grid before, and in this video, I'll explain you how you can do it yourself. So this is how it looks in Elementor Editor. I have prepared six posts for this grid and a list and template. Now I have created a new page and opened an Elementor editor. Now to start creating a grid, I need to grab the list and grid widget and just drop it on the new section. Now I need to select the listing that I'm going to use in my grid. I have the listing template called portfolio test. Let it be, and now it has displayed me the default settings that this plugin has for the list and grid. But I'm going to change most of them. So here I can specify the column number. I want it to be two columns. And the post number. I have six of them in total, but I can say three or four or two or the whatever number I want to see. Let it be 4 for this specific case. And if you toggle this to yes, it's going to pull out the number of posts that you have in your default reading settings. Here are all the more advanced and more profound settings that you can apply to your posts in your grid. Let's have a brief look at them. And here you can add an item where you can specify the advanced query parameters. The first type is post parameters. Include posts by IDs or exclude posts by IDs. If you type the ID of the post or IDs of the several posts in here, it's going to include only those posts or it's going to exclude the posts that have the specific IDs that you have typed in get the child off. If you allowed your custom post type to be hierarchical, you can use this setting. Now you can specify what post will be displayed by this status. Like if the post has the status uh, published or pending, draft, etc. The next one is order or offset. The descending or ascending means whether the post will be displayed from the last one to the first one. In the case with descending and with ascending, it will be from the first one to the last one. And I will go with the ascending. Order by date or by some other characteristic. And the offset simply means that you can move the order of items back and forth. Now, if you add more item, you can make it an item of another type, like text query or meta query. Using this type, you can query the post according to a specific taxonomy. Here, we'll type in the taxonomy name from the current page meta field and choose the operator. That's going to determine what posts are going to appear in your grid and which are not. The next type you can use for your uh, advanced query parameters is meta query. This means that you can use meta fields to query the posts in your grid. Type the name or ID of your meta field here. Let's say link. Then choose the operator and the value that is present in the specific meta field of a post that you want to appear. As we said, link. And now the grid has displayed all the posts that have this value in the custom meta field with the name link. That's pretty simple. If you want to know more information on how to use the advanced query parameters, dive into our documentation where you can find the detailed information on how to use them and how to work with them and the 
profound explanation of every single operator, parameter or type. You've also got terms query. In the terms query block, you'll be able to set the advanced parameters for the terms query. This is needed when you have to query the terms using different parameters, offsets, several terms with more complicated relations, etc. Here you'll need to type in the IDs of the posts from which you want to query the terms. Here specify the order, the type of order, and some more profound parameters. As I've said, more detailed information and more detailed guide on how to use these parameters you can find in our documentation to Jet Engine plugin. Now let's publish our grid and have a look at how it is displayed on the front end. So here it is. Here is a simple way to create a listing grid with Jet Engine plugin. If you want to download this plugin, go to the description down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.